Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Wednesday, October 12th. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, I'd like to say welcome. And if you're returning, I'd like to say welcome back. So on this channel, I like to talk about knitting, crochet, and yarn. And I like to share things with you, such as my finished objects, works in progress, and yarn hauls. And today is supposed to be, or I should have done, a Tuesday Roundup, but I'm a day late, so I'm doing Tuesday's Roundup on Wednesday. So I have one finished object and four works in progress and a tiny bit of acquisitions to share with you. So here we go. So my finished object for this week, I showed one of these last week. It's a crochet Halloween treat bag. And I showed you one that was completed last week and I had the second one as a works in progress. Well, now I have it finished and here it is. It's a Halloween treat bag and this was a YouTube video tutorial and I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the tutorial, but I will link it down below with everything else that I'm able to link. But here it is. So I don't know which one I did first and which one I did second. But I have two. Here they are. So these are for my grandkids. Um, my intent to fill them up with Halloween treats and give this to them um, when we get a little bit closer to Halloween. So here they are. And the only thing that I did different than what the tutorial called for is they had um, like these gray bolts that you put on the side, one here and one here on the side of the, you know, each side of the bag. And I didn't do that. It was, I don't know. I just, I think it looks fine like this and any little and any, uh, how do I want to say it? Less sewing, the better. So I think it looks just fine like this. They're so cute. She also has um, a tutorial for a pumpkin Halloween um, treat bag which <clears throat> I'd really like to do we'll see I've got a lot of stuff going on so uh, knit and crochet wise so maybe I should you know but you never know so the yarn that I used is um, Hobby Lobby's I love this yarn here's the label and um, this is the first one this colorway is um, lime light and so this is what I had left after two, um, making two bags. And let's see, it's 199 grams, 355 yards, 100% acrylic. It's a number four. Here's the label and here's the yarn. And the second one is this, it's just in the colorway of this is black. and everything else is the same. And the crochet hook that I used was a five millimeter crochet hook. So that is my one and only finished object. I think they came out so cute. They're adorable. Despite my um, embroidery, my embroidering skills, they're adorable. I'm happy. Okay, so now on to my works in progress, and I have four. Let's see, I'll show you this one first. My knit blanket, I'm still chugging, plugging along on that. It's living in this beach bag. I got a few rows done. Um, getting really close to ending it, because I think it's big enough. It's definitely, so this was all, so this is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's the um, feathers and fan rainbow baby blanket and um it's supposed to be a baby blanket i'm making it a little bit bigger to have like as a lap blanket and here it is and i entered this into the um there was a blanket along um with um helen from crochet moments it ended i can't remember when it ended in september so i had started making this for that and I'm, I want to get it done because my one of my kids really loves it and would, would like to have it. So I'd like to get it done for Christmas. So here it is. This is it. I'll show you the whole thing in a second. Um, the last time I showed it, oh, I thought my needle went in my tea. Um, 
this is where I end I ended so I've done so I did a little bit of it so this is it and it's getting you know definitely um, it's a very it's too I think it's too big for a baby blanket a bit well it's a lot bigger than um, a lot of other baby blankets so and I think it's getting pretty close to like a lap size. It's getting there. It is getting there. So I have this much of the yarn left. And when I finish this ball of yarn, I will be done. So it's getting close. Um, and the yarn, this is a, mm -mm. yep, I have it. This is a Lion Brand yarn. It's ice cream roving. I bought this at Michael's. And here's the label. And here's what I have left so far. And this is the third ball that I'm putting into the blanket. So here it is. Um, the colorway is licorice. And it's a four medium, 200 grams, 437 yards, 100% acrylic. So there it is, and the needles, a 5.5 um, millimeter knitting needles. So there's that. So this is, I really, I really could just um, do the border and end the blanket. I'm very tempted because I think it's big enough, I do, but then what do I, I don't know, we'll see. My goal really is to finish this ball of yarn, but I've, I just have so much going on. It would be nice to have a, this out of the way, this finished object, and it's getting close. So there is that. <clears throat> Works in progress. And my next one, is living in this bag this is a oh my gosh I always forget I always forget it begins with an H and she doesn't put her name in this I just did a total blank I can't think of the name but it's ba these bags are sold on the Bumblebee Acres website I can't think of her name it'll come to me Hannah Lou designs I'm not even sure any anyway, rate, so this is, and I do not have a pattern for this, but this is a knit hat. It is the Muscle Burr hat, which is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Um, oh, wait. Let me get my, so I don't lose the stitches. So I'm really loving this. I can see me making a lot of these, but I think the next one I make, I'm gonna go down a needle size. I think, yeah, I think I'll like it, the fabric better. So here it is. So this is actually a top down hat. So here is the top right here. Um, and so you knit until, so I'm doing, so you knit on the instructions it has um for various different sizes you know how many um inches you have to knit until and i think i am about halfway so the goal is you knit like one big tube right um and the end will look like this and then you fold it in on itself so it's like a double thickness hat so I am probably about halfway to where I need to be before I start doing decreases. And the last time I showed this, this is where I was. So I've done that. And I like this yarn a lot. I love the speckles in it. So it is, um, I'm sure most of you have heard of the hat. Uh, you can go on Ravelry and see, uh, it's not, I don't really know if you'd call it a two, but you just knit one long, um, 
yeah, one long like tube it ends, it starts out with this and ends with the same and then you fold it in on itself. So there's that and this is what I have left so far. And this is um, black cat fibers. This is their yarn label. Here is the yarn. The colorway of this is Our Lips Are Sealed. This is on the Nomad Sock Base, 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, 463 yards for 100 grams. So this is what I have left. And you use up pretty much the whole skein of yarn. And the needles I'm using for this <clears throat> are, I think it's a, yeah, 3.25 on a 16 inch. And I'm, I can see me making a lot of these. I like this, you know, it's just knitting. It's just, you know, TV knitting. You don't have to think knitting, it's nice. Um, so I can see me making a lot of these, but I think, I, like I said earlier, next time I do make this, I'm going to go down a needle size. I think that, I think it will look, I'm a loose knitter. I probably should have done that at any rate. Um, and I don't know if I can explain this properly, especially without the um, pattern here, but you basically knit um, it starts out the same for everyone. You knit, um, and then once you get far, you can, once you get knit enough, you can check your gauge and then it'll say, well, this is your gauge, how many stitches you get, um, per whatever it says. I can't remember what it says. I can't remember however many stitches you get per whatever inches they say, that's your gauge. And then you follow the directions, um, you follow the directions based on that. So that's that's cool. Um, you know, there's no gauge swatch, not that I would do one for a hat any rate, but that's kind of cool because you can do it for, I think it's, um, you can do it for large, you know, this is fingering weight. You can do it for DK um, and you just knit and, and check your gauge and follow the instructions for that. Same with the length. Um, where you decide what size you're doing and then it'll tell you how, how to, how, what length to knit until before you start your decreases. So that's a lot about that. <laughs> I don't know if I confused you. I do love this pattern. I can see me making a lot of these. I like this better than the um, sock head, is it sock head hat pattern? Because you don't have to do any ribbing for four inches. Did I say that right? Sack head hat. Yeah, it's a, that's a free pattern though. On um, And I've knit plenty of those. Okay. And did I say I had four? I couldn't see one, two. Oh yes. Okay. So this is living in my matter root bag. This is a pair of knit socks, but it's my first pair of DK knit socks. And here they are. So this is Freckled Whimsy Yarn. I just wanna say this real quick before I get into the sock. I, I um, signed up for the, um, uh, how do you put it? Let me see, how do you say it? The DK Yarn of the Month Club. I signed up and this was for the month of September. Ugh, I love it. I love it. So this is my first DK, um, DK weight socks and it goes super fast. So this is where I have, I put in for my heel. I like to do, I'm going to do an afterthought heel. Um, so yeah, so I've probably got like an inch left before I start decreasing for the toe. It just went so fast and I love this yarn. So I'm using the Crazy Sock Lady um, pattern for DK socks. Well, let's see. Well, I'm basically using it for the stitch count, how many um, stitches to cast on. And I'm doing the medium, uh, which is 48 stitches. That's what I cast on. This is a free pattern. I don't know if I said that, so I'm not, I'm not giving anything away. So I cast on 48 stitches. <laughs> and then I'm kind of going off on my own. 
because I'm going to do an afterthought heel. But I was looking at the toe that she that she has for the pattern, and I might try that toe. So, and then, um, yeah, so this is a two by two, and I'm not even sure if she called for two by two rib or if it was, I like to do a two by two rib. So I did a two by two rib. This is for 10 rounds. And then I'm doing shorty socks, so I didn't follow on the number of rows um, that she has listed for the leg of the sock. I did like 10 rows. So this is the first row after the ribbing. And then that's where I stop where I'm gonna put my heel. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh. It's so soft. Oh, I love this yarn. Look at it. And the need I'm do, I'm knitting mine on Magic Loop, and these are a I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here we go. These are 3.25 on a 32 inch cable. These are my Addy Rockets. Um, yes. So the yarn. So this is what I have now. If you see that it's not caked up, I had to hand. I don't know if it's me. If I just have bad luck or what, but I went to wind this up and oh, I don't know, it was just all, the yarn was all twisted in and out of each other and it was, no matter how much I tried to turn the yarn and manipulate it and I just, I couldn't get it to wind properly so I had to take it off um, the ball winder and I left it on the swift and I just sat there and had to hand, it could be me I don't know though. It's not like I've not wound any yarn before, but it gave me a heck of a time. So anyway, so this is what I have left. Um, and here is the label, Freckled Whimsy Hand Dyed Yarns, um, the Serendipity DK Base, 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, 245 yards, 100 grams. And the colorway of this is Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes which is the September 2022 DK Yarn of the Month. Um, and the, this is an eight stripe repeat, and it also comes with a mini, which is falling apart. Here's the mini it came with. So I'll use this for um, the heels. I don't think there's enough to do heels and toes, but I'll do this for the heels. So, yep. I love these. Um, I love, okay. So I, I don't know if I love them as much as fingering. I love, they are, um, I don't know if I love knitting them as much as fingering. I really like the process of knitting, fingering, weight yarn and small things, you know. Um, but I love how fast it's going. And I love, this yarn is, oh, uh, it is so soft. And I love these stripes. I love them. So I think that's everything with this works in progress. Um, yes, and so my last works in progress, this is gonna be a bit of a spoiler alert. Um, just to warn you all, this is another knitting project and it's living in another matter root bag. I'll undo it and show you. I love these bags. So I am doing the Stephen West M. Cow, which started October 6th. So this is a spoiler alert. If you don't want to see any progress on this, I'm going to show mine in a minute. So this is it. This is the clue one of the pattern. And there are clues um, that are released every Thursday in the month of October. I am very, very, I know I'm going to be very bar, far behind. This is a, <coughs> a big clue. It took, oh, it's taking forever. And thank goodness for a tutorial he has on YouTube to go along with, um, helping you through the first clue. Thank goodness. There he is. Um, he's got such a 
I love his um, videos. He's so kind and I just, the, the way he explains things like, it's not a big deal, you can do it. I mean, he's just, I don't know. I find him very encouraging and positive and kind and I really enjoy his videos, his tutorials. So this is what I have so far. I'm about to show you. Okay, so I am way behind. Way behind, or I am not, I have not made a ton of progress, but that's okay. So here it is. Oh, here's what I have done so far. This is it. So, yeah. Like I said, thank goodness for the tutorial. Look at it. And I don't think this is not really giving anything away because it's on the video. But these here, right, you twist them into like a braid. But this is what I have done so far. And I am only on, I've only finished. No, I haven't even finished the second repeat and there are a bunch more repeats. So I really think it would be impossible for me to finish clue one by Thursday because it's Wednesday tomorrow. So there's no way, there's no way. That's okay. Um, hopefully clue two will be not as, this is a very, this clue is a doozy. <laughs> there it's, it's, um, it's a big clue. There's a lot of knitting involved in this clue. So maybe clue two will be smaller and I can catch up, but I, it's okay if I don't, I'm fine. I'm enjoying it and eventually I will get it done. And I love knitting on, I love knitting on it. Now that I've kind of got all the, all the techniques down. So here it is. So the yarn I'm using, so you have a main color and a contrast color, and then eventually you're going to introduce a pop of yarn. So this is my main color. Ooh. This is my main color. This is my contrast color. And then this is going to be my pop of color. And this is all is Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn from Knit Picks. There it is. This is a 75% fine superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. It is, this colorway is cork. It is 231 yards, 50 grams. And then this colorway here is Duchess Heather. And this one is Pucker. I'm using Stroll um, to kind of, uh, I have a lot of fingering weight. I have a lot of hand dyed yarn. I have a lot of yarn, but I honestly did not have, um, I wanted to get out of my stash, but I did not have enough of um, what this required. Cause you need a hundred grams of the um, main color. So these are 50 grams, so I have four of these. Then you need 100 grams of, no, you need 200 grams of the main color, 200 grams of the contrast color, and then 100 grams of the pop of color. So that's 500 grams. And out of all my yarn, I didn't really didn't have anything enough that went together. So I was like, I am gonna go, I don't wanna spend on, you know, five skeins, 100 gram skeins of fingering weight hand dyed yarn. I don't want to spend that. So I went and got pucker from knit picks and probably spent about a hundred dollars less. So, and it's very soft. It's nice to work with. It's a little splitty, but, um, I'm okay with that for a hundred dollars cheaper. Yes. So, cause I felt, I felt terrible. I was like, you have all this yarn and you can't come up with yarn for this. That's you need to reevaluate how much you spend on yarn. So here it is. So I will show my progress every week with y'all. Um, it's okay if I get behind. I'm not going to beat myself up about that because I can't just work on this. I have to work on other things. I'd be bored to death if that's all I did. And I have, you know, I have 
other things. Unfortunately, I have other things to do besides knitting. I, you know, I've, well, you all know my life. So, so that is all my works in progress and my finished objects. And then I have one little bit of acquisitions to show you. It's a skein of yarn and it is my Freckled Whimsy DK yarn of the month for October. Did I say that right? So DK Yarn of the Month Club, um, and this is for the month of October. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so it's on the Serendipity DK 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, 245 yards, 100 grams, and this is called a By the Willow Tree. So it's 100 gram skein of yarn, and then a 20 gram mini it comes with. I'm in love with this. So this is a six stripe repeat. I'm in love with this. Now, <clears throat> I will say this. I went ahead, um, cause Freckled Whimsy, this, it's, I've heard, you know, I've seen other um, podcasters and Instagram um, get this yarn and I've wanted it for a long time. So I decided to get the DK, but I've gone ahead for the next month. I've switched it to fingering because <clears throat> I just, I want to experience it all. So. I wouldn't be surprised if I go back and forth all the time. So I've switched it to fingering because I don't have any of their fingering yarns. Although I did order, um, this is a while back, for the um, for um, um, Christmas, for Advent for Christmas, I ordered uh, Freckled Whimsy's um, Advent socks. So I guess you, you, I don't know if it's got 24 stripes in it, I can't remember, and you knit a stripe every day for Christmas Advent, so I did order that, but I love this yarn. So I wanted to kind of get some um, fingering weight. So next month, for the month of November, it will be fingering weight, but isn't that just beautiful? Okay guys, so that is it. That is all that I have to show you today. I hope you all are doing well and that you have a fantastic week. And let's see, there's nothing really going on here. It's very dreary here today, but I don't mind that in the fall. I kind of like dreary days. That's it guys. So I hope you all, like I said, have a great week and I will see you soon. So until then, bye for now.